Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about some of the GIS metadata resources. Metadata serves to store descriptive, administrative, and structural information about spatially related phenomena or spatial data. Descriptive information talks about keywords, descriptions, uh, time period for a particular data set. Administrative information just describes who's in charge of the data, how we can get in contact with that person, and structural information talks about the type of actual spatial data. Is it a table? Is it a shapefile? Is it a feature class? Is it a TIN? Is it a raster data set? And if it's some sort of vector type of data, what are the different types of attributes? What are the types for those? Are they long, short? Uh, what are the possible values? Are there domain values attached to those? Unfortunately, GIS metadata resources are few and far between. The FGDC, which is a division of the USGS, is probably one of the best places for resources. And you can see it's located right here. Now you can see it on my page here. FGDC stands for the Federal Geographic Data Committee. And you can see it's got its own independent web page here. This is the front page or the main page for the FGDC. It talks about different standards and guidelines from the ISO metadata series as and also the CSDGM, which is the content standard for digital geospatial metadata. It talks about selecting a geospatial data standard. Most of these are going to be the same. They're all going to discuss descriptive, administrative, and structural information. Over to the right here, it talks about metadata outreach. In May of 2017, there is an FGDC ISO Metadata Summit, which was held at the USGS headquarters in Reston, Virginia. I actually attended that. So you can see the agenda, you can see the presentations that discuss these standards. And then on the next day, it talked about um, implementation of these by different organizations, where North Carolina One Map was one of those organiza organizations that presented there. So you can see all the information. There was a working group, there was a metadata summit back in 2011. And that has some basic fact sheets about metadata, the business case, the value of metadata. And we can look at the different standards and guidelines here. So I can click on this link right here, Geospatial Metadata Standards, the 19191 Star Star Metadata Series, and FGDC CSDGM. So this talks about the different standards. So it looks at the, F, uh, the ISO standards, and then the FGDC authored content standards for digital geospatial metadata. Remember, some of our limitations when we discuss metadata is the actual application in which it's stored. Okay, so if we're looking at QGIS, um, any type of you know notepad, or especially with ESRI, our catalog, our limitations are the software. Okay, unless we want to create our own metadata editor, okay, an importer here. These are just some of the CSDGM standards, and it talks about CSDGM profiles and extensions. So FGDC has created content standards for extensions for remotely sensed imagery. And I can click on these here, and these are fairly old. I think these are from about 2002. So if we go back here, we have seven main categories for metadata. ID information, data quality, spatial data organization, spatial reference, entity and attributes, distribution information, and metadata reference. If I were to click on this from a remote sensing, I believe there's nine different you know, categories. It includes platform and sensor information in addition to those aforementioned categories about data quality and ID information and whatnot. But this discusses that standard right here. But we can go through all of these. We can look at the HTML uh, version, the workbook. Most of these are going to be the same metadata entries between your CSDGM as it evolves to ISO. ISO just has increased functionality, but for the most part, this descriptive data quality information, the entity and attribute information, and the reference information is typically going to be the same. The ISO allows for a little bit more flexibility, not only with our own metadata editors, but with uh, non-metadata editors and the extension, you know, the extensibility of your 19.115 and your 19.137 ISO standards and, and your XML transformations. But these are a lot of neat GIS uh, metadata resources right here. So at the FGDC, we can look at a lot of presentations here. We have the workbook, which is a, just a gigantic you know, PDF document that discusses. Um, this is from 1998. So as you can imagine, um, 
with services and ontologies becoming increasingly important, new ways to create and render uh, GIS data. Uh, we need to increase the functionality uh, and the types of tags and fields that can be stored within GIS metadata. But I always like looking at this because there are pretty neat graphics attached to these here. And when we go back to the main page, this is our metadata outreach. Feel free to click on some of these links. Another valuable place for metadata resources is through NOAA. Later, we'll talk about the NOAA Metadata Editor, which works within our catalog. But this discusses standards, data creation. It talks about some of the metadata training resources out there. So this has links to the 19115-2003, um, the biological extensions, um, extensions for imagery and gridded data workbook. So NOAA has some really neat resources here. This also talks about some courses that were offered. So this will link to an FTP site, which has links to data, exercise, handouts, sample metadata that you can download from their FTP site and use this or manipulate this for your own organization. I didn't want to mention, I'll just mention this briefly, but we also have the actual ISO standard for this one. This is 19115-1. Uh, for 2014. This is what we're trying to migrate to. But this is the schema required for describing geographic information and services by means of metadata. It provides information about the identification, extent, quality, spatial, and temporal aspects, content, spatial reference, portrayal, distribution, and other properties of digital geographic data and services. One thing about ISO standards is that you have to buy those. These days, with our ArcGIS, with our other types of metadata editors, we can import into these particular formats and you know, not, we let, you know, we let Esri or our metadata editor kind of do our dirty work there for us. Okay, but this is the actual standard if you ever want to look at it here. Okay. Lastly, we've got the North Carolina One Map. You know, and we have a number of GIS metadata resources here. So if I click on Discover, Get Data, we can look at local uh, access to local and geospatial data. We can look at standards and best practices. And I've got metadata, so I can click on this metadata tab and it talks about the different standards. So it talks about the state and local government profile based on that aforementioned ISO 191 star star format, the 115 that we were talking about before. It's got the current version of the state and local government profile. And in a future tutorial, I'll discuss how we can read this, how we can use this, and how we can cater this for use in the North Carolina GIS community. And it talks about using these metadata editors, uh, different various metadata editors, your, your cam edit, uh, art catalog, uh, parcel metadata. And as we go further down below here, we have actually different templates here in different formats. So we've got a PDF, but a TXT, XML format for the templates that adhere to the state and local government profile. Down towards the bottom, you know, why do metadata, the content standard, the USGS CSDGM metadata validation service. So why do metadata? So this just talks about the business case that I discussed previously for metadata. There's a number of other metadata editors out there. Uh, we'll discuss those later with the different types of metadata editors, even though we do focus on ESRI products. But these are some of the resources out there to get yourself used to. Look for graphics, for presentation materials, and resources that we can use for the GIS metadata user community.